Hey guys, Mike from Mortgage Nerds here in Appleton. This is Brian Hoffman. And today we just wanted to give you guys an industry update. Uh, about five months back, we gave you um, what was coming with the, you know, when the coronavirus hit and all the things uh, that were happening and all the changes. Now, about five months after that, we just kind of want to give you an update where everything is at. All right, so Brian, where are we at with everything? Well, things are definitely getting better than where they were. It was a little challenging in the beginning, not knowing which route things were going. Especially um, with that forbearance stuff. Yeah, so there was a lot of, there was a lot of unanswered questions in the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely more, you know. Structured. Cut, structured, yeah. Um, now, one of the biggest hurdles probably is appraisal turn times. Um, so what, what factors into the appraisal turn times? It, well, is, a, it is a big concern. In our so, market, yeah. so we have not only our rates at record lows, mm -hmm. so everybody that is refinancing. So and should. You, yeah, if you have a rate in the threes, you should probably give us a call. Right. Very good chance you could be in the twos. Right. Um, so you have the busy part of the refinance there, mm -hmm. and now it's the purchase market here with mm -hmm. the spring, summer going right. in. That the lender capacities to the max. There's only so many appraisers That's the key. in the industry. And it's not easy to be an appraiser to get into that industry. Right. So there's a limited amount of appraisers, more business than you can handle. Correct. So it's just turn times. Turn Lender times. capacity, appraiser capacity. Yeah. So we need a little bit extra time, usually, yep. to get the loan closed. Now, if you don't need an appraisal, which there are situations where you would not need one with an appraisal waiver, um, that can get a loan closed how fast? I mean, you're looking probably two weeks you can get a loan closed. Yep, or less. Or less. We've had them less. Absolutely. Cool. All so, right, so uh, appraisals, that's a challenge, but nothing yeah. you can't overcome. It's not that big a deal. It's just something to be aware of. Correct. Right? What else do we have? Uh, overlays? Yeah, there's some overlays still out there due to COVID that, that weren't there. Right. Your self-employed borrowers probably have the biggest challenge right now. Right. Getting a mortgage. Specifically, self-employed borrowers that were affected by the coronavirus, Correct. right? That were even, maybe... even with not being affected, the amount of paperwork and the additional things that you need to supply yep. can make it a challenge. Yep. Um, so it's important if you are looking to purchase and you are self-employed, you're definitely going to want to speak to your mortgage advisor sure. sooner than later so you can make sure that you have everything in line. Even if you were approved five months ago. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. definitely do it again because now it's going to be looked at a little bit differently. Absolutely. Okay. Some overlays, appraisals, what other changes from a normal market? What do we have? Yeah, I mean, really, it's lender capacity is huge. Yeah. Um, you know, they're, the way that they try to control what's coming in, what's not coming in. What does a um, lender typically do when they're, well, lender capacity just means they have too much business. Just right. Simple. Mm -hmm. um, what do they do when they have too much business and it starts to get to a point where they aren't able to close loans fast enough based on lock times. What do they do, typically do? They'll, most of the time, they'll raise the rates. They should, Yeah. right? It helps way, us understand Yeah. we don't want this business here because we're full, right? right? Correct. And we can't take it. Right. But the good thing is, is when that happens, we can take those people and bring them to another lender who yeah. hasn't raised their rates to accommodate for their business. Best thing about being a broker, options. Options, we hands can, down. We can figure out where to take your transaction based on all the different challenges that are out there. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. Um, not all lenders have the same capacity at the same time. Correct. It just doesn't happen. Um, so all right, lender capacity, um, appraisals, um, rates are absolutely amazing. They're amazing. That's the huge mm -hmm. plus, right? Yep. You, I've never seen a rate <laughs> like this no, before. No, me neither. It's pretty fun sometimes to be able to offer absolutely. what we're offering. Yeah. Um, so what are some advantages with uh, rates being like that? Well, advantages, you have buying power. You know, I mean, granted, you're buying right now at pretty much close to the top of the market. We've been saying that for a couple of years now. Yeah, who knows? It can, it's continuing to grow. Who knows? It's crazy out there, though. But when you are buying a house and you were going to have a 4% rate, mm -hmm. but now you have a 2.25 or a 2.5% rate, who right. knows? They're going to equal each other out quite a bit. You get that more yeah. of a house at that lower payment because your rates are better. Right, or you, your payment's just less than what you anticipated if you stuck with that budget still. Absolutely. Um, huge advantage. Yes, yeah. um, absolutely. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens five, 10 years from now when people don't wanna get rid of this mortgage because it it's 2.2. Five, five, 10, how about two, three? <laughs> That's true, when you, you want know? to tap into equity, it'd be interesting. Um, and then same thing for refinancing, so many options there. Paying right. off debt, 
um, just you know take it a shorter term, whatever it may be. Right. It's really cool. there's there's an abundance of appraisal waivers right now. Um, to Indus where people don't need the appraisal. Yeah, industry average, by the way, on appraisal waivers, 58%. Mm -hmm. That's huge. It's crazy. Appraisal yeah. waiver, waives that, plus that, you don't have to pay for it either. Mm -hmm. That's a huge advantage. Right. Speeds we have we have options to run a few different ways, get them here, you know, where mm -hmm. some won't get them, we can. Yep, it's true. Um, especially banks and credit unions, I don't think that they do them, do they? I've never seen uh, one. Yeah, I'm really not sure. Yeah, well... Check us out if you want to look at getting an appraisal waiver for sure. And if you currently have a VA loan, you do not need an appraisal for sure. Um, we'd love to take a, uh, take a look at that. Right. Um, as long other... as you're just reducing your rate. Yes. Cash out's a different story. Correct. That, well, let's talk about that. Cash out. That bucket, when you take equity out of your home, it's more of a challenge, right? Yeah, it can be. Right? Um, I mean, you're restricted in, in different ways. Yes. Yep. So you don't get the same rate as if you went rate and term. Correct. Yeah, there's more of a risk. Right. Yep. So when people are out there, which I love our clients out there going, you know, telling everybody at work, I got, you know, 2.25 on a 30-year fix. It's so cool. Yeah. But you're not comparing apples to apples, right? So right. that's one of the biggest things when you're looking at your mortgage, your unique situation, you can't compare to your neighbor. Not at all. Your friend. You can't take advice from them because your long-term financial goals are different too. Right. Just know that you're in the right spot at a company that has those type of rates and right. closing costs and stuff. That will put you in the best situation for where right. you're at. Yep. Mm -hmm. Rates are specific to your unique situation. Okay. Um, any other challenges out there? No. It's getting can, a lot better. You can, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I feel really comfortable where things are going. I don't know how long the, those overlays that are out there right now will last. Really, it's going to, you know, determine on, you know, what happens with all the regulation and that kind of stuff. Right. But, We'll just um, wait and see. Roll with the punches. Like we always do. Absolutely. Right. So that's where we're at with everything, guys. Um, if you have any specific questions, reach out to us. We'd be happy to answer them. And remember, mortgages are complex. Let mortgage nerds give you the answers you need.